Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to adjust the page margins for your workbooks in Excel when you print them. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So what I've got here is sample sales data. I'm pretty much using this throughout all of the printing tutorials. And I'm going to use this to show you how to change the page margins. Now if you're in a previous version of Excel what you need to do to adjust page margins is go to the file menu then click page setup. Once there go to the margins tab. So once you get the page setup window it'll be pretty self-explanatory. There is a tab called margins. So file page setup margins tab. Now if you are in Excel 2007 like I am we only have to go to the page layout tab then in the page setup box we've got a little button called margins. Now if you're not too sure what margins are, it's the white space on the edge of a printed page that doesn't have anything on it. So it's not going to have anything that prints on the margin or within the margin. And sometimes you have specific margin requirements for certain documents or you simply need to fit more data on one page. As we can see here, as outlined by these little black dots, the phone numbers for our salesmen are going to appear on a second page. We could change the margins to fix this. But anyway, in Excel 2007, when you click the margins button, you have a few settings here. If you have one particular custom setting that you always use, and you used it the last time, you'll have something here for the last custom setting. That may be helpful for you. Or you have three basic ones here. The normal one, then you've got the wide, and the narrow. So th these are preformatted ones that uh, are generally accepted, I guess you could say. But what you really want to do, or what you may need to oftentimes do, is go to Custom Margins. And this is the exact same screen you will see if you are in a previous version of Excel and you went to File, Page Setup, and the Margins tab. So now we're all on the same screen no matter what version. And here it's pretty self-explanatory. You've got a margin for the top, the left, the right, the bottom, then you've got one for the footer and one for the header. And you can see on this little digital piece of paper where all of the margins are. So let's say you want to shrink the header margin. You can see exactly what line it's talking about. And you can change the header margin like that. For this um, example, I really only want to change the right and left margins. So I'm going to go ahead and simply take that down to 0.25 on both sides. And I'll take the top also down to 0.25 and the bottom down to 0.25. Now you can change it to anything you want and then when you're done click OK. And notice that the black dotted line is now on the right side of the phone number. That's because we gave ourselves more space on the page to print. Now if we we're back on the custom margins page what you probably want to do is then click print preview so that you can see what your data is actually going to look or what your page will actually look like when printed so click print preview and we can see this is exactly what it will look like whereas before it was on multiple pages it is now on one page and you can tell that the margins have been decreased dramatically because this is all that's left between where the text will print and the end of the page you can see at the top and the left So that's pretty much all there is to it in terms of adjusting the margins. Like I said, you've got some basic settings right here, but for the most part, you're going to want to go to the custom margins immediately and simply change them to whatever you need. And if you're in a previous version of Excel, you get to this window by going to the File menu, Page Setup, and then the Margins tab. So that's pretty much all there is for changing the margins in Excel. One last thing I'll say is if you're in 07, you can click the margins button and go back to normal. In case you messed it up and you want to make sure you go back to the default settings, just click the normal selection and everything goes back to the way it was before. And you can see now phone number will be printed on a second page. So if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for this tutorial.